Another episode of the Hartford Whalers Be a GM Mode. I know I simulated up a little bit far. I actually tried to do this early uh, yesterday and I didn't like it, so I went back and tried to do it again. For preseason and all that, did not save or stay. So we're, we're we, so we finished preseason in the, in the first month, but we're seven two and one, um, which is pretty good start to the season as the defending Stanley Cup champions. Um, Neck Ash is leading our team in points right now with two goals and eight assists. Let's just take a quick look at our at our players, see who's producing. So Neck Ash, Falks up there, Svechnikov, Kruger. Look at that, Marcus Kruger, the fourth liners up there. Jordan Stahl's got five. Slave and Taravon and Aho is just he's not a point producer. I think Neck Ash is eventually going to be taking that. Uh, going to eventually be taking that first line away from him though. How are our goalies doing? Yeah, phenomenal. Razak hasn't lost yet, and Bobble's got a 9-4-4, both under about about two goals per game against. That's pretty damn good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with that. So uh, yeah, there's our, there's that for that. Okay, so um, oh, I wanted to check one more thing before we go back here. So yeah, I don't really know. We're not going to be doing a whole lot of crazy trades or anything because I pretty much you know I I I. I I kept all my guys, and we're going to just try to make another run for the playoffs. Maybe we can get to the... Okay, we don't have any rookies. Um, you know, maybe, maybe we can make it up to the... Uh, make it to the... Uh, up to the playoffs in this video. That's kind of my goal. I'm going to try. So let's... Um, let's simulate down here to the trade deadline. I'm just going to simulate all that up to the trade deadline. We'll go to the 28th here before this Winnipeg game. I'm going to go right up here to the, uh, to the trade deadline. We're just going to see how we do. So we, we won an overtime. Oh, Terravine has been injured. Okay. I didn't experiment with another GM mode too because I like to do those a lot. And um I have another, who who I've scratched. Who can go in here? Oh, Svechnikov is ready to come back, I think. I guess we could put no sec up there, I guess. Here, let's just do best lines and see what it gives us here. Fogel D, no sec. Wait, who's Kruger? Well, let's let's you know sure. I'm gonna try Svechnikov up there on that left wing for now. Until what's his name gets who's who's injured? Yeah, Taravinen. Until Taravinen comes back. Um what about Wegar, can we What's up, Bradley Blair Tebow? Yeah, I figured out your name, buddy. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> Small fucking world, man. <laughs> it is great for late night gaming. Um, I have I work nights, so I super have insomnia. Yeah, it was funny. I uh, when I was talking with you in uh, in the dumpster fire. You said your nickname, and I immediately texted my buddy Curtis, who was my best man at my wedding, he graduated the same year, and I was like, yo. I was like, whose nickname was BBT? Because I just met him in a live stream. I don't know who it is. And he asked Jocelyn Garrow, who I'm sure you know. That's his younger sister. Um, and she told me who it was. And I was like, yes, that's exactly who it was. And I do remember you from high school. Small fucking world. Yeah, anybody who watches this after, yeah, Omega we'll Black and I went to high school together. We actually met each other in a live stream tonight. Had no idea. And then I'll, next thing you know, yeah, I went to high school together. What a small freaking world. Come from a town of 1,500 people, and yet I still find, I still meet people from back home. It's crazy. Uh, Kempney for a first? Do I really want Kempney? I don't even know who Kempney is. Who is it? Is it a top 4 D? He's a decent... Oh, he's a defensive defenseman. Nope. Don't want him. I don't really want to give him my first for something like that either. We don't really need to give up anything. We, don't, we have everything. We, we have everything that we need. We don't really we don't really have anything that we need. We have all of our players that we need. We won the cup last year. There's no reason for us to. Uh... Okay, so Anderson, I guess we'll switch you with this dude. No, we'll go the two-way defenseman. Why not? Sure. Sanguinetti, he's old, but whatever. And then we're gonna put Griffin Reinhardt up here on that top line. Because he ain't nothing more than... Oh, Jake Bean's almost ready. He's still minor top two. Okay, good. So he's almost ready to come up. Probably next year. Maybe halfway through the season if he grows real good. Maybe we'll get him something. But yeah. 
So we're gonna put in for the extra attacker. Bishop, we'll put a Kukin in. Sure, why not? We need a forward in there. We got Jake Bean and Kukin in. Hopefully our uh our, um I can't even think. I'm drawing a blank now. We're eight four and one, we're doing good. Two to one. Oh, Urquhart's been injured. Uh oh. That's one of our guys we drafted last year, right? I got Axel Anderson down there. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's my phone. Where the hell is falling all over the floor? Alright. Scratched. Who can we put in here? Stortini. Yeah, we'll put the enforcer in there. Scratch, we don't have anybody else that needs to play, right? Bro, Shik, we and DD out. No, everybody else is everybody else is good. Alright, let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So I've done I've done several experiments offline here, off the off the off the interwebs, and uh, this is an interesting game. Um, the potential is kind of funny, cause it doesn't really matter what your um, player type is. You can just uh, a lot of people or there's a. Dude, I had to move away. Um, I moved. Uh, me and my now wife, who's from Fair, who's from Fairfax. She went to BFA Fairfax. Um, we both moved down here about three years ago because I was working at Bond Auto Parts in St. Albans at the time, and I was couldn't find I couldn't find full time work anywhere. There's the 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 job market there is just terrible, you know. And uh, oh, what am I doing? I don't want we guys. I'm totally not even thinking. You get scratched. Um, but yeah, no, dude, the economy up there is crap, from what I've heard. Um, and it's just, yeah. What's up, buddy? How you doing, Skyler? Come in with the new The Han, sure, why not? Just put you in there. You're offensive defenseman. You can have some fun on that third three-on-three three line, I guess. But yeah, no, the, uh, the economy's really crap up there, so we, we moved down here because we can afford it. We couldn't afford to live up there anymore. It's just so expensive. I mean, I love Vermont. I miss it. It's beautiful up there, but it's just so damn expensive. So dang expensive to live up there. No, I don't want you there. Yes, yeah, so we want Urquhart. Urquhart can go back in. You can get switched with... Whoops. Um... Oh, I guess we don't really need to... Oh, what about Setkov? Isn't he a potential... Yeah, he's a medium top six. I guess we'll put Setkov in there instead. I think they got Anderson playing over in defense now. If I'm not mistaken. HL top six. We'll switch you. Ferraro, you're a low elite. So we're going to put Urquhart and Ferraro on that third line with Nick Waugh. All right, and then we have... Yeah, Anderson's on that bottom pairing there. Minor depth forward... Or depth defenseman. And you are... Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, no, that's why that's why I ended up moving because you just couldn't afford it anymore. It was too expensive. So I don't I, I don't blame you, man. Definitely definitely be looking for some stuff up there. You work you work at Vermont Teddy Bear? That's awesome, man. I used to work at Ben and Jerry's in St. Albans. That was fun. That was a good time. Used to, that was back before they got rid of giving you free pints every day because I used to get uh I used to get free I got home because I'm a fat kid damn how'd you do that dude that's that sounds rough that sounds painful man toward the ligaments and tendons oh you know breaking bones is one thing bones are the ones that things you actually want to have because it's it's easier um, what was I doing? Um, it's easier for a bone to heal than it is for tendons. And like, if your your bone can heal and then you're fine, you're good to go. After it's healed and everything, you're good. You're not gonna have to worry about anything. But when you uh, when you tear tendons and ligaments, it takes an age to to heal. And it, honestly, it's like it takes so long to heal. And um, it just one of those things where it just screws it screws it up. I remember when I was in elementary school, I was going to, I was at the, uh, 
at the at the elementary school next to the high school in Innsbruck, and I was playing basketball. We used to play this game called monkey bar basketball, and I used to, remember I went up and went for a slam dunk, and I fell off the monkey bars and pulled every single muscle in my back from the base of my neck to the base of my to like to the end of my tailbone. And uh, I did. She did that twice in the space of two months because I'm you know smart like that. And uh, yeah, my back's never been the same ever. It, it's 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 screwy Louie, and it's been screwy Louie. What's up, buddy? Well, we got a whole crew in here tonight. Nice. Figured you guys be watching Katie, um, watching her stream, because I think she's streaming right now. If I'm not mistaken. Um. Oh, McCallan's a the guy names. Scooter Vaughn. Who does he play for? Yeah, oh man. Yeah, that that now. Nah. I can't count the number of times I've fallen and hurt myself on the ice. Happens all the time. That's rough, man. Hope you get better. That that's that's just that sounds just oh, absolutely painful. I would not wish that on anybody. Robertson going the bottom line. Okay. Well, white man can't jump anyway, so I guess that that's fair. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad you're healed up now, cause that that just yeah, that sounds like a rough, rough injury, man. Oof. Okay, um, what am I doing? We're just gonna do best lines and see what it puts us. Furlan, nope, I want Furlan there. You're a right winger, aren't you? Furlan's a left winger. Why is it? No, we want those guys switched. Thank you. Rock again. Okay, okay. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Um. All right, we're gonna stop this because I just realized I forgot to do something. Arkhart again. Fuck this. Let's turn the injuries down. This is getting a little crazy. I think. With all these guys getting injured every other freaking day. So we're going to put him in there. That's really interesting. Who was it? Do you still get injuries if you have them set to one? Because I had him at 30. I think I have him at 30 in this one because that's like my default... Um, I think that's like my, my my default um default thing. I don't think I changed it. I think it's just whatever the standard one is. I changed it down to 15 and it didn't really seem to make much of a difference. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do right now. Is I'm going to go and I'm going to... Once I get this all taken care of, I'm going to actually go and change it. Turn them... I'm going to turn... We'll, we'll try 10. Okay. Well, then we'll go down to 1 and we'll see we'll see what, see what how that works. See what that does. Flurry. Sure. Go up there. Watch, he's going to be... Oh, yep, yeah, he's on two lines. Who cares? May not do it. Very true. Very true. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, I already did... Never mind. I already did that. Okay, come on. My God! Seriously, look at this. This is why I need to change change uh, injuries. Like I'm trying to get through this stuff, and we're trying to get through a whole year in one video, in like an hour, and it's just not working. Kukanen, Bishop, Wagiki. We're gonna switch you with what's his face. All right, I guess he's the center, right? Yeah, Sorella. We'll switch you guys because you're down there. Stortini can get switched out with whatever the oh Ferraro. Yep, he's the one I just had in there. It's sad that at, that it was um Vancouver though. I like Vancouver. They're much better than people give them credit for. They're gonna be good next year, man. Hughes looks good. Pedersen's amazing. Bester's amazing. I mean, it 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 they, they got some good players on that team. Hey, look, we're leading our division. That's what I like to see. 
Okay, now let's let's turn the sliders down. Let's see. Let's try one. And see what one looks like. Um, uh, injury occurrence. Yeah, I have it on twenty. Why is CPU at fifty? Let's turn them down to thirty. They don't need all the help that we do, but that's fine. Well, you can't say the late eighties or you can't say the Nordiques were that terrible. They did technically win a Stanley Cup. They just had to go to Colorado to do so. So I'm also a uh, I like the Nordiques. I liked them when they were in the league. But then again, growing up an hour and a half south of Quebec, you, you kind of have to have some kind of affection for Quebec teams. I mean, shit. Me and Omega Black live like what? We're like, you, you, or you live like what? Unionsburg's like what? Like an hour and a half, two hours from Montreal, something like that. It's real close. Yeah, well, doesn't um doesn't TDI do that? TDI hockey doesn't he do that where he like does? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Sixty eight losses is pretty terrible. Pretty flipping terrible. Half point or point zero five points? Is it zero five or point five? Yeah, point one points for a playoff apparent. Hundred. Okay. Wow, that's different. Huh. That's interesting. How did you, you? You have way too much time on your hands, buddy. Like you have a lot of time on your hands to sit down and do crap. Like holy crap, eight to four over Chicago. Well, there we go. We still got injuries, but let's see. So Dougie Hamilton's out. You know, it, it's true, and even when you turn morale off, you still kind of, it's still kind of, um, it, it, it is still in the game, it just doesn't um, affect it as much, because you don't know, like morale meetings and stuff like that, but um, I have a I have a serious theory that the where your players are from, like in, in the geographically where they're, where they're, where they're from, whatever country they're from, has a big thing to do with how players play and how they grow as far as prospects go. Because I, I, I'll show you guys after, like, we'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the, at least the trade deadline, maybe finish the year in this one. Then I'm going to take you guys into another one that I've been doing offline, which I did for, for funsies. I decided I was going to do um, a all communist country team, and it ended up just being all Europeans. And I got Axel Anderson, who we have down here. Um, oops, I wanted to look at Scratch. Okay, Meth, 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 Meth Um, And um, well, I'll show you. This guy right here, he's a 71 overall right Oh, no, that's Robertson. This guy, 70 overall right now at 19. And my other one, by this time, by the year, by, by like halfway through year two, he jumped from a, he was a 58 at start. And by middle way through year two, he was an 82 overall. And I think it was because he is, I believe, Finnish. No, he's sweet. A lot of Finns and Swedes on the team, and I think because there was so many other people from where he's from, it's like the the there's like hit, these hidden things in the game that that influence that. Because I I pick him up in every single GM I, mode I do. He generally grows really really well, but I've never had him grow that good before, and it just blew my mind. It just blew my mind because I was like, how is I'm like, how is this kid growing so good? Like, not that I was upset, but I'm like, he's never grown that good before. Uh, okay. Who scratched Urquhart? It's just Urquhart. Okay. Well, then we're going to swap you out with this dude. Oh, and you know what I meant to change? Oh, well. Good luck, buddy. Go make a team of time out of Canadians. Yeah. You know, honestly, try it. It's weird. Try it and see if you get guys that are like, you know, good potential but low overall, if they grow better if they're on a whole team of um it, it it's weird. And I and it's it, in this game I kinda I mean it makes sense. I kinda like that aspect because and I noticed too in free agency too, if um if you if you sign people, a lot of times that it if it's like an if it's like um Say a guy who doesn't get drafted and he falls to free agency, but he needs an ELC. Um, 
if you um and that's what I did with um I think that's what I did yeah that's what I did with um I named them the Havarov red shirts I wanted to do Havana but there is no place for Havana so I did Havarov this sounded similar turns out it's actually in Poland so it fits but I did the red shirts because you know the red army red shirts you know what I mean um but yeah it make it makes sense that they would play better and and grow better with players from their from the same country or from the same area. And I noticed in free agency, like I said, it's the same thing. I made a couple of guys. I made um, um yo, dude. Well, yeah, he's from same. He's the only hockey player from Vermont that's ever been in. Well, him and oh, this guy who never made it in the NHL. It was like Grant something. He was from like Stowe. But he was like minor league guy. He never made it in the NHL. But yeah, Leclerc's the only hockey player from Vermont that or actually born and raised in Vermont, St. Albans, where I moved from, who's ever mounted to anything. We've had a lot of guys in UVM though. I mean Kevin Millar who, or Kevin Miller who plays for Boston Red Sox or Boston Red Sox, Boston Bruins, who I believe is in the I believe he's playing on the team right now, or maybe he plays for Vegas now. But he used to play for Boston. He uh, graduated from UVM. Uh, Martin St. Louis, Tim Thomas. Um, there's a lot. There's been a bunch. Oh, wait, you started off with the first overall? That doesn't happen often as an expansion draft. Y'all keep distracting me. What am I trying to do here? Okay, I got a left winger. I got to put in. Who am I going to put in here? Um, Stortini, but I'll switch him out with someone else. Quick, Parise, Leclerc, Pavelski, Wheeler, Suter, Kessler, Brasso. That would be a sweet team. That was a lot of my... I mean, Barrasso is one of my favorites. I mean, I am a Penguins fan, so yeah. And Leclerc, even though he's a douche, I do like Leclerc. He was a good player. I was watching... I was listening to... Um, uh, I was listening to... Uh, yeah, Kessel. Kessel and throw Kessler. Go Kessel. Kessel, not just Kessler, but Kessel too. Kessel is a good American boy. Um... I completely just lost my train of thought now. God damn it. I hate when that happens. I don't remember what I was saying. I don't remember now. Mm. Oh, well. I'm in. Why is D scratched? Well, whatever. We're going to put him in now. But. but yeah, we have a, we've had a good amount of. um Good amount of guys playing for the uh, University of Vermont that have gone on to be very successful NHLers. 18 7 and 1. Holy crap, we look like Tampa. Does that mean we're gonna we were gonna get swept in the first round? Players I hate are the ones you have to use because of skill in the games, but IRL are major thunder. Yeah. No, I don't remember either of those. Dude, Frank Peter Angelo is way before my time, and I don't even know who Sebastian Caron is. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce his name, but yeah, I don't. I'm sure if I, 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 I don't know who that is. <laughs> I started watching hockey when I was in. I was probably, what year was that? I think '93 or '94. '94. So I came into the I came into um, hockey right when Wa was playing Lemieux, Leclerc, um, Lindros, Yager. When all those guys were young, and of course Lemieux made me uh, gave me my love for the Penguins. Though to be honest, I will always have a a, a small soft spot, um, a small soft spot in my heart for the Canadians. Um, because that's where, uh, well, because A, I'm clo I was close to there, and B, um, that's where John LeClaire won his one and only Stanley Cup. I mean, dude, I've seen Flurry make some saves that I'm just like, how, what, what, how? And there's been a lot of really amazing saves. Well, why does it keep, okay, I want full healed, please and thank you, so stop informing me when he's just playable I want to know when he's completely I will I will look those up after I get off the video or after I get, end the stream but uh, uh, what am I doing what am I doing okay come on 
We're doing really well. Was that Neckash? I think still leading the team. He might need to get bumped up to that first line. Okay, so we're 18 7 1. We have, we, we're still in single digit losses here. I like that. Well, because I'm playing a video game. That's why. Because I don't want to do that. You want to hear my reaction? Okay, fine. Fine. The people have spoken. All right, so it's. So I'm watching. First, I'm watching Frank Peter Angelo save, and then I'm watching uh, Sebastian Caron. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Frank? Not Frambent. Frank. Peter Angelo. Okay, first thing that pops up. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize he played for the Penguins. That'll make me happy. Okay, guys. I'm watching it. April 13th, 1991. Penguins goaltender Frank Peter Angelo made what is simply known in Pittsburgh hockey lore as The, the Save. Save. Facing elimination in game seven, God, those jerseys are beautiful. I have one of those. Devils, the Fuck the Devils. That was a pretty nice save. That's that's cool, but I mean, I've I've honestly seen more amazing saves. That was an amazing save, but I've seen many that I found that would make me go. Oh! How did he save that? That was pretty cool. Wow, actually, oh, I didn't realize that he got that off the rebound. Wow, that was. Talk about reflexes, though, man. Holy cow! Yeah, baby. That was that was a little before my time. Like I said, I started watching about 93, 94. So that was a couple years before I started really watching hockey. But that was the team right there. That more or less team is uh best play. Is that the, the Penguins play-by-play? -play? Is that the one he's going to get? He shoots and scores! Is it that guy? Because if it's that guy, I love that guy. Okay, Sebastian Caron. Is that the other one watching? Sebastian Caron save. I'm assuming this will be it. Okay, here's the other one you guys are telling me about. Oh, no, no, no. They call it back, don't they? They call it back, don't they? Yeah, this is a, it's the most fun for this is the Flyers. I can't even see, it's so grainy. So it goes... Oh, he swipes it just before it goes across the line. Wow, it's Crosby can't even believe it. Yeah, he's like, did that just happen? Holy fuck, did he just save that? Oh, they got those funky weird jerseys they're wearing too. With the silver and things on them. Oh, bounce, okay. Bounced off the post. Wow, right, yep. That's about as close as you can get. That is about as close as you can get. Damn, that's pretty crazy. And people say pen penguins don't have good goaltending. Sorry, I okay. Yeah. No, it's not actually. I've seen Flurry make better saves. Both of those saves were amazing. I'm not gonna lie, but I've seen saves that Flurry has made when he played for Pittsburgh that literally made me shake my head and be like, did, "What did I just see?" I mean, that right there, though, the fact that he didn't even have 100 professional games, that is impressive. I would argue that those were more impressive based on the goalies that made them. But I wouldn't say that it's the most amazing save I've ever seen. But I will say that I would probably put those up more simply because of the player that made them. I mean, that'd be like Ryan Reeves getting a hat trick. Or something like that. What he didn't make any saves versus Columbus? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I agree. I'm a big Hashik fan too. 
Hashik, I like Wa too. But Hextall, even though I'm a Penguins fan, Hextall is my number one. Actually, no, Barrasso is my number one, then Hextall. But I like Hextall because Hextall is the kind of guy where, like, you get in his crease, he's going to chop your damn legs off. Which is the way it should be. He's like, get the fuck out of my crease. Which is another reason why I like, um, well, I mean, was I made a comment the other day on someone, on somebody, something else. Uh, oh, it was Alyssa Hope's video. It was, um, I don't know, it wasn't Alyssa Hope's video. Was it Courtney's? It was somebody. I think it was either Courtney or Alyssa. One of them made a, made a video, um, about how, um, it was like something like goal, something to do with goalies. I don't remember exactly. But it had Riddick and Mike uh, and Mike Smith. And I thought to myself, are they like the same goalie? Because they're both like love to play out of the net. Do you want me to just sit here and play, or do you want me to just watch videos? Because I can. I, I I've been always actually wanting to do one of those like reaction videos, like so and so reacts to. Like I could do like my God, we still only we still have we're at twenty eight and two. Zach Trotman, he used to play for Penguins. You can tell by the jersey. Fine, fine. Matt Murray saves versus Columbus. Okay. God, you guys are so demanding. One of these days, I'm actually going to get paid to do this, and then I won't feel so aggravated when you guys make me do shit. Just kidding. I love you guys. I love that you're here. Thank you for being here. Matt Murray saves versus Columbus. I wish I had face cam. It'd be more fun if I had face cam. You guys see my facial reaction. Versus Columbus 2019. Let's try this and see. Um, Matt Murray frustrates Blue Jackets. This is from the NHL, so this will be good. Two big saves. Okay, yeah, this will be it. Pretty good save. Uh, nice paddle save. That that that's what makes that one awesome is that it was a paddle save, not a glove save. Oh, right off the blade of the stick too. That was perfect. Boone Jenner. Name like that, no wonder you missed. Who names their kid Boone? It's a last name, not a first name. Another nice save, yep, yep. I still say that's the best save I've ever seen. I think it was 2012 or something like that. I think it was 2012. No, it was uh, 2012. I was working on Blockbuster. What time? What year would that been? I want to say probably 2014, maybe. I don't remember who they were playing, but I saw Flurry make a save where he literally saved it behind his back, and it was quite amazing. I watched it happen. I don't need you. And, uh, yeah, I was pretty kind of like, wow. Blake Coleman? No, I don't need anything, man. I, I, nah. I like Murray, but I don't know as though I'd call him a legend. I really don't know as though I'd go that far. Not yet. Not yet. I wouldn't call him a legend yet. Yes, he's won two Stanley Cups. And did one, I think, his rookie year. But... I'd argue that Mark Andre is the bigger. Uh, I'd argue he's the bigger legend in Pittsburgh, of the t of, of of the current goaltenders that are playing the league right now that have played for, um, that have played for Pittsburgh. I would argue that Flurry is the bigger one because Flurry's won three cups with us. He won three. Isn't he though? I've heard that. I've heard he's well. I've actually heard that Leclerc's a big douchebag. Actually, my mom met him at a bar in St. Albans, and apparently he was a dude. Yes, thank you. I agree, Skyler. I mean, I'm not saying he's not a, he's not a great goalie. He's he's a very very good goalie, but I wouldn't put him at legend status yet. Not yet. Okay, Teravainen's back. Good. We'll put you in. Oh, Teravainen, go up there. Yes. And then... That I'm jealous of. I want a Murray jersey. Ferland's a grinder? Man, he was Captain Clutch in the playoffs last year for us, man. He's a big reason why we won it. And... McGinn? 
Yeah, well, they all kind of do that, bro. Hey, fun fact that's not related to hockey. Did you know that Dr. Seuss, the author who wrote, like, Green Eggs and Ham and shit, his wife had cancer for 13 years, and he had an affair with his mistress, and then his wife killed herself, and then he turned around and married his mistress. It's much for a guy that wrote, writes children's books, eh? Yeah, but they, they all fucking do that. Are you kidding me? They're all cokeheads, too. Oh, apparently he used to fuck around with a nanny, too. From what I heard, it wasn't just his sister-in-law. I heard he uh, he he got caught fucking around with the with with the their kid's nanny. Cause I I've heard stories about Brodor. I've I've definitely heard some stories about that man. He is a center. It is. It really is. And there's not a lot you can do about it, unfortunately. Um, centers, we can put in Matthäus. I also love how recently everyone's been, like, jumping on Sean Avery's dick because of the stuff that he says. Yeah, I also didn't believe in having kids. He, says, he goes, you guys can have the kids. I'll entertain them. Oh, I'm sure he was a racist. Well, the, the funny thing is, the Butter Battle book is basically a euphemism for communism. Which is a re really obscure Dr. Seuss book that was actually one of my favorites as a kid. My God, I turn injuries down and it's still, like, constant. I don't get it. Did I... Did it not save... You know who else is racist? Henry Ford. He was an anti semist or er, he was anti Semitic. He was actually real good, uh I feel like getting Canadians would be a little easier though, because there's just so because this game is so saturated with Canadians. I thought doing Euros was more fun because it's it, you, your 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 uh, prospect pool is so much smaller. It makes it more of a challenge. I really like that. I thought it was kind of cool. It's fun. Like I said, after we get to the trade deadline, because we're taking a long time because we keep getting off track here. But, um... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do, uh... The game pay sliders. Oh, dude, yes, I agree. I mean, Sean Avery is, like... As far as entertainment, though, he was one of the most fun people to watch. Because he was such a dick. Yeah, we still have it on one. Interesting. Um... But yeah, you know, did you did you uh, did you see his little um, what the fuck was it? Oh, his little uh, video that he made on uh, Instagram about the Kadri hit and how he was like laying. Oh, Ryan Reeves is is like the man. He's my favorite. He's one of my favorite players in the whole league. He really is. I love Ryan Reeves. Oh, his comment. <laughs> did you guys see his comment about Joe Thornton? How he got. He was like, yeah, my buddy's got a grandpa that's going blind. He's, you know, old people, they have a hard time seeing. And I'm just, I read that and I just, I died. I'm like, that is, I'm like, Ryan Reeves is a fucking legend. Because he's not only an instigator and agitator and a pretty solid hockey player, he's great at trash talk. Like, he's one of the best trash talkers in the league, has to be. It's just great. I love him. He makes me he makes me giggle. He makes my heart happy. Um am set cough because you have some kind of some some kind of potential. Oh, we're gonna leave Reinhardt down there. We're gonna put our boy Axel Anderson up on that first line. Watch him grow like a weed. Watch him go crazy and I put him on the first line for this for this little amount of time. Dougie Hamilton's back, yeah. I didn't even check to see what we're uh, our um uh, blah, blah. our thing is, yeah, I was really not happy. I mean, here's the thing: I do like Jamie Alexiak. He's been a he. He's turned out to be a very solid. He, well, he was for a while. This season, he was not quite what he was last year. But I mean, I like Jamie Alexiak. But I, I personally would have still would have preferred to keep um to keep Reeves. Yeah, I know. We traded him back to Dallas. Which is like, so we got nothing for Ryan Reeves. I love the agitators, man. The ones that do that shit is great. If you get in, if you get in the heads of your your opponents, like that's this that that's exactly what you need to do. 
And that's exactly what Columbus did to Pittsburgh, man. They got in their head, and Columbus could do nothing. So 21 and 10. And Ajo's back. Not that we need him. Net cash looked good on that first line. Well, Ron Hextall hates you. <laughs> I like Hextall. He was one of my favorite goalies. He was he was he was one of those goalies that you just were waiting for him to just drop the gloves and pound somebody. To go beat up like Barrasso or some shit. I love when Fleur Fleury tried to fight someone earlier this year, which was great. I love how he's been saying he's like, I've been working on trying to score goals. I'm like, please score a goal, Fleury. Please do it. Can't it needs to happen again. Well, they're all a-holes. We've established this, man. Here's the crazy part about it is they're still not as big of a-holes as, you know, like baseball and basketball players. Did we just win? Oh, no, we had lost. I would say, did we only win like six in a row? No, I don't want to give G you have Jake Bean for Ryan Dezingle. Wait, is this Josh Anderson? Both guys that they can't sign? Well, um... Omega, they got a uh, they got a team on on NHL 19 that's all time grit and it's literally just goons and enforcers. But unfortunately, EA in their infinite wisdom decided that it's only available to be played in like you know versus and shootout mode and crap like that. You can't actually insert them into the like a like a GM mode like this like you could because I have NHL 12 too. That was the first one I ever played, and I used to put the Legend team on there and you go like you know 72 and 10 or some crazy shit like that. Yeah, they can they, they they can't they have they have, they can't sign him. So they want to give me Dezingle and is this Josh Anderson? He's a top 6 the potential and he's only 79 overall. He's not going to get any better. And I don't need these guys. So no, and I don't want to give up Jake Bean. So y'all can Oh fuck. God damn it. I just accepted that trade. Well, good thing we don't necessarily need Jake Bean. Oh fuck. Fuck a duck. That's not what I wanted to do. No! Oh, I'm such a dumbass. That's what happens when I get distracted and I'm not paying attention to what I'm flipping doing. Oh, they don't have a legend team anymore? They have, like... I don't know. They have... What legend team? Um, what was I saying? Oh, um, they do have legend teams, but they're only in very limited game modes in here. They have all time Western, they have, they have all time West, all time East, all time All Stars, all time Grit, and all time Local Heroes, or something like that. Local Legends, I think is what it is. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're, you're, you're only, it's only available to use in certain, um, certain game modes well fuck a duck that pisses me off it just got rid of Jake Mean not that it is, I mean it doesn't horribly matter but he's already up to a 74 look at that we put him on the first pairing for like three games and he jumped four overall love it crazy 74 overall that's awesome he'll be ready next year Dolan, time to trade immediately. <laughs> nice. Wasn't the other night Katie made me pick fucking Kessler over Oshi? I was like, really? <laughs> I'm like, why? I'd rather have Oshi. Alright, now let's see if we can sign these fuckers. Since we got them, we might as well use them, right? Okay, I know, I already put them in there. Stop. Oh, the shootout loss. There, we've gotten to double digit. Yes, I know you told me this last night, or the other night, that Kessler is better. I know, you've told me this. But it was an 81 overall Kessler card versus an 88 overall team of the week. So even though technically Kessler is better, that particular card was better than Kessler. And draft champions is kind of what you want. It was an 88 overall versus 81 overall. All right, let's see. I don't even know how much cap space we have. Do we even have enough to sign these two D-bags? Can we even sign these two D-bags? Um, in the system.
here's what we can do. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So, idea. Okay, I have a perfect idea. I don't want either of these dudes. I don't need them. So we're gonna immediately trade them. Gave up Jake Bean and we we're immediately gonna trade these two guys. Bye bye. Um okay, hold on. Oh no no, I want I want I want this. So we need who was it? It was Zingle and Yep. The Zingle and what was the other guy? I forget. I'll go by overall just so we can find him. Um and Josh Anderson. Who wants these guys? Boston. Give me something for them. Give me something. Like, give me some draft picks. Agreed. I am not a Tavares fan at all. Give me two turds. Currently not sufficient to broadcast gameplay. Can I get a first rounder from next year for these two guys? Actually, I could probably get a little bit more. Um, oh, well, that and a third from this year. May accept if I add more value. Okay, well, let's see. Who else do you want? Is anybody else that you want that I don't really care about that I can give up? Any guys down here that I'm kind of mad about? Um, Weger. No, we need him again. Fogel. These are all guys that are playing up. We kind of need them all. I would tend to agree with you, Omega, Omega but I'm still really heartbroken over um, them kind of stopping my penguins. Sweeping them. Yeah, I'm still kind of sore with that. Actually, honestly, I want the Canes. I want the Canes to win. I love to see them get it. Actually, let me add your draft pick in here. You want, you want your draft picks? How about a fourth and a sixth? How about your own sixth? You want your own sixth back? I'll give you your sixth back and a fourth for a first and a third. Oh, they don't want it. Oh, well. That's fine. We can always trade them. Let's go to our trade block, and we'll put them on the trade block. Yeah, I would be I would be all right with the jackets winning too, honestly, because uh, they just look so good. They're just they look really really good right now. Yes, that's how I look at it. You know, that's the one thing I will say. I'm very sad that Pittsburgh got swept, but at least um, Tampa doing so horribly has kind of taken a lot of the a lot of spotlight away from the terrible uh, terrible Penguins this year. So it's like, oh hey, there. Who wants Josh Anderson? You can have Dzingle and Anderson. Give me offers. I'm accepting offers for those two guys. Dolan, Nelson, and a couple. Of, wow, you got Crosby. Nice. Now get McDavid, and you'll be you'll be set. Just have them play together. They'd be awesome. Actually, no. Honestly, who'd play probably play really well again with McDavid is Kessel. Kessel would probably be freaking light. He'd probably be fucking fire with McDavid. You know, he's fire on Pittsburgh, or at least isn't during the regular season. I'm glad that Jake Gensel scored the other night, though, because he's the only fucking playoff per only player. Oh, that's true. You're right. Sorry. I forgot about that. He's not. He's American. Um. Okay, Canadian wingers were really good. Oh, uh, shit. I don't remember. I'm not good at knowing where people are from. Oh, that's right. Urquhart. It's going. He's right wing. Okay. Stortini, bye bye. You can go in for Urquhart. Wow, Wah grew. Okay, Wah go by that second line. Actually, hell, you can go up there. You go there. You go here. Man, Elena can go down on that. Actually, you can get switched there. We're gonna do this. There, that looks a bit better. Bishop's up to a seventy-five. Nice. Oh, dude, that would be the that would be like the greatest the greatest scoring combo of all time. Like Crosby and Ovi would be amazing together, just phenomenally. Ooh, you know what, guys? We're gonna save it here. I just got a really fun idea. 
Claude Giroux. <laughs> Claude Giroux. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Although you could argue he's also a center. He's kind of one of those hybrid guys where he's basically a forward. He can basically play any forward position. Okay. So, oh, wow. That guy's 34. Okay. So we're still leading. Well, how are we leading? How are we doing? Okay. We're not lead, leading the league. We're like second in the league, I think. 55 points? No, third. It's Hartford, Anaheim. How is Anaheim so damn good in this game? And Tampa. Yep. They uh, EA jinxed it. All right. So we're going to save this. I'm going to have some fun. Let's do something here. Let's make a team. We're gonna make a team. We're gonna make. We're gonna. You guys are gonna help me. We're gonna make a team out of whoever we want. We're just gonna. We're, we're, I'm not gonna do an expansion draft or a fantasy draft. I'm literally just gonna create a new team. And uh, we're just gonna pick who we want. We're gonna put Ovi and um, Crosby on that first line. So be fun. Let's be fun. So let's do this here. Let's create a team. Then I'll throw like injuries and everything off and we'll see if we can do like a really, really, really quick season sim just for the fun of it. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on a second, guys. Because I'm trying to do this, do this particular file as a series on my channel. I'm actually going to end the stream here and then immediately start another one. So, guys, this is going to end. Pop right back in in a second. Um, but anyways, I'm the Cranky Yankee. That's been it for this one. Kind of a little, not so much focus on the game. Just some talking and some having some fun. But I kind of want to keep it so that we, if you want to follow just this particular team, I can, you can you can look at the videos and still follow what's happening on the game. Um, but that's it for me. I'll be back in about 30 seconds with a new stream. See you later, guys. Um, broadcast, okay.